When facing a common adversary, working in concert is far more effective than working in isolation. We will see change. We will see change. I definitely see change. We will see change. I see change. I see change. We will see change. I see change. We can see change. I'm certain we'll see change in how our nation approaches cancer. Sea change started with an idea, a simple idea, but an immensely powerful one. Bringing leaders together from the three sectors to talk about the challenges facing the entire cancer community and figure out how to solve them together. George and I had a little girl die of leukemia when she was four, and it affected our whole family. And we have dedicated ourselves since then to trying to help raise money for research, and to help people who have cancer. And although Barbara and I feel passionately about cancer, my first thought about it all was how on earth could we be helpful? Well, they did come up and talk to us, and it wasn't very hard to persuade us. We were a little dubious at first that doctors from all over the country and researchers would join. And I could see in their eyes as former President Bush and Mrs. Bush realized the potential of their leadership impact that more lives could be saved if we just made some changes in policies today. They saw a need to mobilize some of these organizations fighting cancer that never even talked to each other. They weren't sitting down around the same table to see whether we couldn't get where we want to go faster. People were getting narrower and narrower in their focus. And as a problem, we really needed to bring our society together to grapple with this in the way the problem deserved. How do we end the scourge of this disease? Let's get started. So we did. After our first meeting, they said, well, this was a wonderful meeting. I said, we didn't do a damn thing. What was wonderful about it? They said, you had people in this room that wouldn't even communicate with each other before. So this is the beginning, and we're going to build from that, and we have. The very first meeting, it's people sitting around and looking and saying, what's this all about? Uh, to several meetings later, people rolling up their sleeves and beginning to dialogue in a very serious way, to eventually getting to the point, you know, we've talked enough and we've identified some things where we can make an impact, we've got to start doing. And that led to the development of what we now know as sea change. I believe that sea change will play a critical role in accelerating our nation's fight against cancer. What is Sea Change's mission? It's to have these three groups come together, the public, the private, and not-for-profit, come together to eliminate cancer as a major public health problem at the earliest possible time, emphasizing prevention, access, clinical trials, diagnosis, and treatment. What I've seen is the organization become more and more focused Early on, there was a lot of discussion, dialogue, and then the organization, I think, began to gel in really important ways, developing specific plans, objectives for how we would know we were having an impact. We have the leaders from all of these organizations uh, who cut across the private sector, government, uh, the not-for-profit sector, but equally importantly, cut across the whole range of interests in the cancer community. Working with the national partners, Sea change holds national institutes, leadership forums, summits, everyone coming together in providing the resources necessary to develop a comprehensive cancer control plan. But as I say, also to provide the encouragement, you're not in this alone. Together, we are helping to shape a policy, conduct research, and instill hope in a way that will ultimately make a difference in the lives of cancer patients and those threatened by cancer. I've seen the stubborn persistence of hope when under ordinary circumstances, there should be no hope. I've seen an exhibition of faith that comes from those of strong moral fiber. I've seen demonstrations of courage that defy description. And when I see these and more, it lets me know that I must be more caring, more sensitive, and more compassionate for patients committed to my care. We assembled a, a working group of what over time numbered over 250 people to work on something that would represent uh, a blueprint for how you would go about putting together a national 
resource for biospecimens to support cancer research. Sea Change provided a set of benchmarks for states, for the tribes, for territories, and the Pacific Island jurisdiction so that each could first be encouraged to develop a state comprehensive cancer control plan, but second to then look and see how it's stacking up against others. It raised the bar for all of us and greatly improved the quality of the plans across the country. Sea Change has been a catalyst for bringing together the state tobacco coalitions and the cancer coalitions to really work to change policies, specifically raising the price of cigarettes, which lowers consumption, and increasing smoke-free air laws, which also lowers consumption and reduces initiation among young people. Sea Change created the business case initiative that demonstrates that cost savings available to all of our nation's employers, and even more importantly, it illustrates how prevention and early detection can do more than save money. It can truly save lives. Sea Change is undertaking a multi-year commitment. We want to convince the American people that they have the power to reduce their risk of cancer. A group called Sea Change. Sea Change. Sea Change. Half of adults in America believe they can't make a real difference in reducing their risk of cancer. But Sea Change, a national coalition of cancer leaders, is focusing on four simple steps to put that misconception to rest. Could you explain those steps? The first is have the recommended screenings. Go to your doctor. Secondly, eat well, eat a balanced diet. And the third thing is really exercise and quit smoking. We took people from a wide variety of disciplines, brought them together, and carved out an agenda for the nation that we're now working very aggressively on. How could you not feel terrific about being part of that? I was privileged to have been here from the beginning and have been so proud of the many things that we've accomplished. We reached 10 years together as an organization. Now this is a milestone, but this is only the beginning. We have so much more to accomplish. I know that if we stick together, we will continue to see change in the fight against cancer. For many, many, many years, people got cancer and virtually everybody died. Now most people live and we're saving 90 more lives per day than we were when Sea Change was founded. The important thing now is to harness the will of our society to turn around cancer. I think we have a real chance to have this be the last generation that anyone dies from cancer. Through our determination and collaboration, we will see change in how cancer is treated and we will transform cancer into a survivable disease 100% of the time. The French Jesuit philosopher Pierre Teilhard de Chardin expressed it best when he said the following, someday after mastering the winds, the waves, the tides, and gravity, we shall harness for God the energies of love, and then for the second time in the history of the world, man shall have discovered fire. And it is that love and that fire that we must always give to the patients we are serving. That is our charge. That we must do.